what's up guys this is ronnie welcome back to tutorial 5 so in this tutorial i'll be going to show you guys how to create hamburger menu for our desktop application using html css javascript definitely python and elise the tutorial so i don't have to mention this thing so what is the objective of this tutorial create hamburger menu using python eel and the rest of the technologies are html css and javascript so i'll be I'll, I'll be not going to use bootstrap in this tutorial but later on definitely for styling and other thing we need bootstrap but this is purely html css javascript and python so python i'm not going to use in this tutorial tutorial but definitely the for the structure and other things i'll be going to use the uh, the the usual syntax of python ill okay so the structure again front end will be html css javascript back end python and modules will be uh, like uh, these are the modules which we actually use in the last tutorial but uh, none of these modules will be required only we'll be going to use ill okay so if you want to make this thing as a package uh, uh, you want to pack if you want to package this desktop gui for like uh, kind of mac or windows like you want to create a, a exe or app for that you definitely want to uh, like create some sort of like uh, like package file for that definitely you need py installer so for that actually i have already created one tutorial which is tutorial number three so this is tutorial five so you can go back to our channel search for this playlist and search for tutorial three there you'll, you'll get some uh, like complete idea about how to uh, like create package from your desktop application so many of you doesn't know what is hamburger but uh, but i think 90 percent of you are familiar with uh, hamburger what is hamburger so if you go to any web page website or some many most of the popular website will be having this thing if you click on this thing the menu uh, like menu bar or the navigation bar will open and if you uh, do not uh, like uh, if you do not have this thing then definitely they have something like normal just to but just to create everything clean and look uh, if you want to uh, create some sort of nice looking uh, ui definitely you should use this hamburger but this is not one of the very important thing but just because we are going to develop some complex gy driven application so i believe this is the uh, right thing to do uh, to show you guys how to create hamburger menu so final gui which i will show you guys once the development is completed so let's uh, move on to the uh, visual studio id so i have already created this is tutorial 5 so i created three file tutorial 5.html so all the html code will be written here this is style 5.css all the styling elements will be placed over here and we have one uh, tutorial 5.5 all the python codes will be written here. so just because i said that i'll be not going to use python code in this tutorial means uh, there will be not much from the python side it is purely uh, design uh, related tutorials so i'll be going to use only html css and javascript but just to uh, keep everything like intact and just to uh, give you guys look and feel about what is eel is doing currently so i'll be just going to write this thing so import eel then we need to write uh, uh, eel dot init okay and you have to write ht this this is our directory so it will be html okay and at the and we have to write eel dot start okay so i have to write this html uh, tutorial 5 this is our tutorial so it will be tutorial 5 dot html okay and then we'll be going to put size so Will be right size s i z d and we can write 1024 with wise and height wise it will be 950 okay uh, nothing else so let's run this thing we'll see what is happening so it will be python 3 and then uh, i'm not sure okay python 3 and probably can write tutorial 5 minutes. so let's see okay so i got nice looking gy so nothing is there so that is why it's only created but i haven't uh, written any function over here so if i write some sub python function then i have to definitely write yield and expose so i'll be going to open our html file directly from here even if you can write something you can open it from here okay so like this and then this so i'll, I'll be going to explain this thing again so sorry what is this okay so now if i write here tuto maybe you can write something h1 tag and inside that i can write tutorial 5 you can there, there could be two things you can open it using live server you all know this thing so i got this thing right and one more thing also you can do it okay that is uh, from here if you just control c here 
okay and after that if you run this thing again so the same html file will be open and write this so now it is coming kind of a uh, python gui based on uh, the, the code you have written okay and you can use this thing as well like the normal html or opening with chrome okay so now we'll be going to design this thing okay okay so what i want to do i just want to create a hamburger menu and this is going to be a very simple tutorial okay so for that thing let me create one nav okay and what i'll do i'll just write id equal to nav bar that's it okay and then i'll be going to keep this thing so inside the nav bar i'll put some sort of unordered list okay so it will be like this and like that it will be li dot maybe i need four okay i'm sorry so i'm not sure uh, okay sorry i just forgot the notation so it should be li uh, dot four maybe star why i just want to create four i can create manually but i just want to see whether yes so in this way you can create multiple and here also i just want to write um, a so inside a, a, a li i just want to create this menu so that is why i just want to write this thing so probably i can write a or something a h rep okay so for that thing probably um just thinking what if we can do mm. can write something Okay, so this is something is not coming. Maybe mm, just thinking. Okay, a why this is not coming? So maybe a then h rep. So something similar we can write. Okay, so it could be like this, and probably we can write this. Okay, and after that this and we can write like home okay so now we'll copy paste the whole thing so this is a list and all the menu items will be placed inside the list so that is what actually i'm trying to do okay okay so it's like this okay so li 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 everything is fine okay so now i need to change this thing so probably uh, services okay contact us or maybe about us so like this so let me just open this thing again we'll see how it looks now okay see i got this thing but here is an additional ali so we need to check this thing what is happening okay so it is here something so let's try to run this thing okay fine so we got this thing here but i want this thing to be placed here in the right hand side so we'll do that thing okay now so for doing that thing definitely we need some sort of uh, what do you say some sort of like styling so first of all i want to uh, create my whole body uh, some sort of background color so let me just give it to uh, background color so maybe i can give blue violet so let me try this thing okay this is not coming okay the reason is that in my html file i never link that uh, thing so that is why it is not coming so what i'll do now uh, link css so now i can write style 5.css okay so like this 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 let's open this thing okay fine so i got this color i'm not sure whether you guys like it or not but i just selected some random color okay you can select any of this color depending on your choice okay so now i want to uh, go here and maybe i can write something i just want this nav bar thing okay okay so uh, i just try to create with okay 
will give some width and I'll give width 250 pixel okay okay then we'll give some height it means I want to give the full height so it should be 100 VH so let's see uh, how that does it look now okay this is pure HTML and CSS tutorial guys so as I told you I'm not going to teach you HTML and CSS but we'll be able to understand so it is here but it is not this side I have to just move it to this side so for that thing I need to give like this position is fixed okay then I have to give right then I have to give uh, something I have to place here for right okay uh, for right maybe I can give uh, zero okay and maybe for top also I can give uh, zero but here it will be like this okay I'm not sure like this and then I'll put Z index is equals to 2 it means it's always uh, will be there at the screen at the at the top of everything okay okay so let's see so if you see here I got everything here okay in the right hand side but I don't want these dots and I don't want this thing okay so we can change those things again okay so for that thing what is required so I can select some color for this nav bar so maybe I can create some background or maybe background color whatever so maybe I can give background and I'll put some color here maybe purple let's see I don't know whether is it, it is going to look good here or not yeah somehow it looks good at least to me okay so now I want to change all this thing here okay so uh, next thing is that uh, uh, I want to what is that I want to change this uh, list element style so it should be a nav ul li so you can something like nav then the element is ul then the element is li since css you can write like something like this okay so I just keep list style none it means there will be nothing right and and and, and the margin maybe I can give some margin and it should be uh, 50 pixel from top and uh, bottom and maybe uh, 20 pixel from left and right so it should be like this and let's run this thing again so now it looks it should look good see everything is having some sort of like uh, like different uh, some some sort of gap or space is there like from left right so it looks nice so now I want to change this color now okay so for changing this color you can write something uh, that is this a element you need to change okay so definitely I can write something nav uh, ul then li then a tag because the text is text are written inside the a tag so maybe I want to write I want to remove this underline so text decoration is again none okay then font where it is bolder okay so maybe font uh, maybe font color or maybe okay color is fine color is maybe uh, uh, white smoke maybe let's see I be I believe it look good here okay see nice nice looking menu we got everything here so now our next job is I need to create a hamburger menu here if something clicks this menu will come and if I click again menu will be menu should collapse okay so that is the next thing I want to do okay so i'm just thinking what else is pending now okay so i just want to create a menu now okay so for creating the menu i want to create this hamburger thing okay and to create the hamburger thing I'll, I'll show you guys how to do that okay so let's create the hamburger menu now so our uh, nav is uh, end here so here maybe i can create a section something like this okay and i'll give one id okay and the ID I'll put the name maybe uh, I'm just thinking what name I can, can I can give a menu actually okay so inside the menu I can create some deep tag okay so maybe uh, div okay and 
let's say uh, class equals to menu okay something like that and maybe it's like this okay and let me copy paste this thing control c i need three uh, okay sorry oh it is not working maybe div and maybe class equals to menu and again i can write div i just created three div here okay okay and i can write menu okay finally it is done so now we'll do some uh, like uh, styling on this div okay so what i'll do i'll just do some styling on div okay so i'll come here so it is menu actually uh, class name so for accessing any class within your html you have to write using dot okay so now what you have to do we have to just give some width so width is going to be i'm just thinking 35 pixel is going to be fine then maybe height let's say height may be 5 pixel okay mm, i think this is fine then i'll give some margin uh, margin may be 6 pixel from uh, top and bottom and maybe sorry and maybe uh, 2 pixel from left and right and let's give a color um, what color shall i give i think color should be black is fine background color mm, let's keep black actually so let's run this thing okay see i got some hamburger menu but i want this menu to be here okay so for that we need to do some more uh, like thing okay uh, that element is our this section this 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 hamburger dip elements are in fact this section and the id is minus i i need to style this thing okay so here what will happen so i will write hash and i will or no not hash so i can write section the tag name is section it uh, this uh, section for our section tag so now i will write um, background color so background color will be let's say give red okay so here also will give position uh, fixed okay mm, position fixed will put z index 2 will give right so let's give right um, mm, right let's say 65 pixel okay and mm, top 30 pixel and 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 let's give some cursor pointer so it means if i point over there so it will become uh, this pointer like if i uh, move this cursor it will become pointer so what i'll do now uh, let me okay it's here actually So this is a terminal so let's run this thing so it is here so see i got some nice looking square background and this thing now if i go ahead it is become some sort of pointer now i want to do if i click this thing then the menu should be displayed and if i again click this thing the menu should be hidden so now i want to uh, make this thing uh, hidden okay so for this thing this is very simple okay so i have to come here okay so i have this thing this nav bar okay so now na this nav bar I, I need to make it kind of uh, hidden so for making this thing hidden i need to change this thing to minus 250 pixel okay so now if i run this thing it will not be visible minus 250 means out of the screen okay so now I, if i click this thing this should be visible so i want to develop that thing okay so how to develop that thing we'll see it now okay 
so let's close this thing so i want to create one uh, javascript you all know we need to create javascript so our this part is done here so let's write script script okay so let's create two variable where uh, let's create uh, i'm just thinking uh, just give me one moment uh, let's okay so i want to see if i click this thing so i need this thing and i need that okay so what i need i need this thing okay so for that thing um i'm just thinking um um never this i need the snap bar this snap bar actually uh, is now right now this snap bar is 250 position and if i click this thing it should become again zero so for that thing we need to uh, we need to uh, we need to do something here so where nav and let's create one more variable here where menu menu means this this one this this section actually okay i just uh, trying to do this thing okay this section okay so nav means a uh, document dot get element by id this nav bar okay so let's write nav bar okay and again also i will write document dot get element by id and this should be menu okay menu okay now i will again make this thing like minus 250 pixel so it should be nav minus uh, nav dot style dot right okay and let's make it 250 pixel it should be 250 pixel okay something this okay and now we'll create one uh, this thing uh, the button click event for this menu so it should be menu dot on click okay menu dot on click and this should be function like this and this anonymous function this is very uh, popular in java so we'll see if uh, if this one let write this thing this and I have to give this then uh, nav dot style dot write equals to zero okay means it should be visible okay and after that we'll give one more else and i'll write the same thing again okay so everything is done our javascript is done so i think i should um, uh, run this thing again let's run this thing uh okay so it is kind of here now i am not sure why this is here um, okay i just put this thing plus so that is what it is here so it should be minus some mistake okay so it is here so let's click on this thing see if I click this thing it is coming up over here okay so I need to click here and I need to click here okay so I actually forgot to put this thing negative so that is why it is happening okay let's close this thing see menu came and if i click gone came gone but if you see here that it is kind of coming very instantly and going very instantly i need some sort of nice smooth and slow transition so for that thing what you can do you can, if you can come here in in this section okay and you can put some sort of uh, sorry not here you can put some sort of nice transition for this thing transition and let put 0.5 
second okay so then again run this thing okay click on this thing see you can put some more transition okay so you can make um, 0.7 okay let's run this thing put this thing okay close this thing and click okay so nice looking transition our menu is uh, like looks nice everything is fine so let me just take a screenshot of this thing from here actually so I'll put this thing here from file I mean this one okay fine okay looks nice okay so that's it guys so what I'll do I'll just try to explain this thing one more time before I end this tutorial so what is happening here so let me keep this thing so we we created this background we created this uh, uh, this section okay with this nav bar inside the nav bar we have this ul and with this ul we have list and we have created this section inside the section we created three uh, div items okay so whenever i click this thing it should like uh, i am not sure why this is not app okay actually i uh, maybe i am just opening uh, the old one so that is why so now kind of it is interesting so all the features which is actually available in the HTML or CSS or using JavaScript the same sort of feature you can easily uh, like access in inside your Python uh, based UI so as I told you I'll be not going to use any Python features in this tutorial but this thing is going to be used in our next tutorial so when uh, we are going to actually develop our like proper GUI application so now our menu like navigation bar is completed so I can create the full application in the next tutorial so just stay tuned for this thing we'll get uh, some more nice uh, and exciting tutorials coming up in our upcoming videos okay so I think this is kind of straightforward we have created this nav bar we have given this thing we given this transition we created this uh, unordered list and list style is none just to uh, get rid of this uh, like uh, some sort of um, bullet and numbering and we create create margin just to give like some spacing between every um, uh, navigation items we created this thing just to give uh, uh, just to remove the underline just to give uh, font uh, style and the color and this menu is to uh, make uh, the hamburger thing the black thing okay and this section is just to like hold this menu thing inside a nice looking red color box okay so this is how this is guys so those are actually familiar with uh, uh, like web technology or web design or fronted design for them actually this is going to be very useful cause they already know this thing but if you are coming from directly uh, like not having any idea about HTML Python or CSS don't worry about that as I told you I'll be not going to teach you HTML or CSS but the way I will uh, um, design the tutorial or design the uh, like projects and it will be definitely useful or for all of you guys to understand what is actually happening okay so that's it guys we'll see you in the next tutorial till then take care goodbye and don't forget to like put your comments put your feedbacks and let me know how you are enjoying this video if you are having any question or trouble or any difficulties to understand please feel free to write me and definitely if you have some other use cases if you want me to cover those things you can write me as well okay so that's it guys we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and don't forget to practice or else you'll, you will definitely um, forget everything okay so one more time guys stay safe just uh, be at your home don't go outside if you go outside wear your mask okay so that's it we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice